it's time to make this yucca, which was beautiful last year, beautiful again. We're gonna remove this donkey, and I'm gonna show you how to trim this one. Hi, Tommy from Indie Tommy Tips, and I'm gonna show you another way to trim these yuccas. This yucca is about six years old, and you can see how the winter leaves have been damaged. But that's actually a good thing, because as you trim the bottom leaves, they grow taller and taller. And about the eighth or ninth year, this could be like five feet tall, and it'll look like an awesome palm tree. I got a new tool that we offer, and it cuts great. So stay tuned, and I'll show you how to trim this bush in probably six minutes. I said before, I want to move this donkey. Ugh. I don't know why I made that uh, sound. I don't need to make that sound. My back didn't really hurt, but I guess we become like our parents and grandparents. Make sounds. Cutting this stuff. Keep trimming. Watch your eyes. Very important. Could blind you. One of the disadvantages is that it's so sharp, but it's very hardy. If you planted one of these things under your bedroom windows, it's a great deterrent for thieves because they'll get stuck. It's really important that you have a decent pair of shears because as you trim these plants three times a year, that's really where you get the growth out of them. As you look down here, look, you can see a plant that's growing down below. You can see these two plants growing together. That's an offshoot from this plant. And that's what's one of the beauties from yuccapalms.com. But let's continue cutting this plant. And when we're done, you'll see how awesome it looks. With these special shears are so sharp, it really does the job. It even cuts this old stuff. Look at this, there's actually two knuckles here. When we're done trimming this, there's gonna be a branch to the left and a branch to the right. That's how these things form after a couple of years. Sometimes you just wanna get in there in the initial cut. Like you could cut something like that, and then you can always go in and cut it again. Cut it closer. Whoa, 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 whoa. See in the shot? Mm -hmm. Why does it look like a pineapple the way that you're cutting it, Poppy? That's a good question. My granddaughter asked, why does it look like a pineapple? That That's the beauty of it. it looks like a, an exotic palm tree. The cool thing about these plants are that they last all winter, all summer. They can last through ice and desert heat. You don't have to bring them in in the winter time for fear that they'll die. But what does happen is what we saw earlier in the winter months, the leaves will get brown, but you want to cut them away anyway in the springtime so they look cool. So we're working our way around. And soon, you'll see two pineapple-type branches on it. You don't want to cut too much away up top. I'm go around. Oh, okay, just be steady. Starting to form. Come on this side. Sometimes these bushes have three and four and you have to cut one away with a, like a hacksaw. See, it's starting to take a cool shape. You got cut. Huh? You got cut on your arm. Look at that, guys. While I was cutting, I got stabbed with one of these things and you'll bleed it itches a little bit. Just wash it with soap and water, it won't kill you. It helps to pull the leaf down so you don't cut the other leaves by mistake. And remember, a pretty unique species. 
I'm gonna start cleaning some of these leaves up. This video is brought to you by courtesy of Indie Tommy Tips. We're a division of Tommy Productions Media Services. And we make all types of videos, cooking videos, to how to restore your shutters videos, to how to insert gutter guards, to how to torture dandelions, to how to trim your yuccas. This yucca is about six years old, and we cleaned up most of the ground area where the stones lie. These plants, like I said, survive in heat and winter. But you know what's great? They don't like water. Don't water them. They're desert palms. Desert yuccas. We call them yucca palms. So I'm gonna continue to cut this area here. You can see how, I gotta get in here. At these guys. You see how the two knuckles are forming separately? Now watch them. There may be three of them. In there. This guy here below, we're just going to trim some of the bottom ones a little bit. So that starts to look like a palm tree, also. There's actually three knuckles in here, or three branches. So how cool will that be? I think, you know, you buy one yucca palm and you have three branches. Ow! Stuck again. Okay. How's that looking? Let's move this stuff out of the way. Coffee. Look down here. Look at these guys. Little yuccas are starting to grow around it as well, off the root set. Later, later you could transplant these. My granddaughter suggested that you may want to wear long sleeves. She's right while doing this. So if you do get stuck, you're not going to bleed. But then again, it is almost May here in New Jersey kind of warm so just use your common sense I guess so is there three in there there are look at this this is the same yucca we started cutting about 10 minutes ago and look what's on the bottom it's an offset off the root and there's actually three branches in this yucca now if you light this thing up at night with a colored spotlight, maybe a solar light or some type of solar Christmas light, it's really going to look cool. In fact, you know what? Tonight I'm going to light it up with solar lights and we'll see how it looks. This thing's about 100 years old. So for Indie Tommy Tips, thanks for watching. If you like these yuccas, check out yuccapalms.com. Please share this video with your friends if you like the way we teach things. And or if you're interested in these palms, just check us out at the address on the screen. Thanks for watching.